Well, my gosh, can you believe the time of year has already come? We've officially hit the season two finale of Spring is in the Air. And so now you know, you know, now you know if you didn't see any like, you know, footage at work before this, I, you know, at least you at least you guys know why. Because we did not do it. No, no basketball game happened in the parking lot this year. And I had the Fiesta ready, ready to Fiesta outfit ready to go to follow up last year with the white Fiesta jersey, which we will be wearing tomorrow for Shia Laverica's birthday tribute as a bonus episode. So close out spring is in the air because, you know, that means the trend is unfortunately is busted. But for, just for this in particular, but there's still plenty of time throughout the summer, starting Sunday, going into the first fun in the sun work. Workday, so season three workday Monday up until August 31st we can actually do one so for now it's busted but there's a chance we can redeem ourselves later this summer but yeah so therefore and plus it was kind of an up and down day I mean I would I came into work beyond half asleep because I went to bed you know past my a few, several nights past my bedtime so I could actually you know febreze this and get it ready so I can for the big season two finale of spring is in the air that you're seeing before you right now and um then I got to work and we didn't have a class today. So when I fell asleep on the couch and knocked myself out, I fucking got away with it because I didn't have to be woken up by the staff to, or any of the instructors to start class because we didn't have to do that shit today. It was a free day and all that good shit. So we got away with sleeping. And even when we finally woke up, we felt great and we didn't fall, like, feel tired anymore. And that's the only reason why I would sleep at work for any reason. Not because I just want to sleep all day like I would at Murray Ridge because it was right before COVID hit, which was what part of what changed me forever after living La Vida Lab Rats changed my life partially in 2015 through 2017 and then a million little things kind of did 28 starting in 2018 that's you know they went through we through all five seasons from day one but you know but now that I you know even at Triad you know, I mean Triad I, I mean, it was probably only exception because we sat around and did nothing all day. So it's probably maybe half of it was because I wanted to wake myself up to do fifth case funding and something interesting happened. But the other, the bigger half, the other bigger 50% was because I wanted to get the day over so I can just get the hell home. So, but now at ViaQuest, if I have any reason to sleep over there, especially if I get away with it, which is very rare, um, considering then, yeah, it's because I want to wake myself up. But usually the alternative to that normally is if we have someone, have someone, any kind of controlled music, we put Ricky Martin on and start singing and dancing, singing and dancing, and that's how we wake up. But I didn't have control of the music today, so I just decided, fuck it, let's go to sleep and just wake ourselves up, and it worked. Otherwise, it wouldn't have any reason, because at least we get to have fun. Like, you know, try, we didn't try it, and even at Murray Ridge pre-COVID. But at least with Viacus, when it comes to actual working s skills and stuff like that, at least we actually get to do stuff, do productive stuff, you know. I was saying Murray Ridge had productive stuff, but, you know, we just refused, like, Jeff Gordon to actually do the work. We just wanted to do the fun stuff all the time, you know. And we only did the work stuff when everybody had to, and some people had to. So other, not just me, but other people made that choice. But that's a whole other entourage for another day. But right now, I just got to quit rambling on and on and on about, you know, my history, my work history since I moved here to Ridgeville in 2015, so we can give you that, you know, ultimate season two finale of Spring is in the Air in good old Sandy Ridge, and we helped my grandfather before this recording, you know, um, get some more stuff out of the storage unit, you know, which I know what it looks like now. There's going to be at least one more load, which none of this is going to be recorded, by the way, so therefore, that's what I did before I, I started this right away, so I apologize for the small delay, but anyway, off to the great outdoors of good old Sandy Ridge to knock out Spring before we do the bonus episode for Shiloh Vericos, Remy Sadler, Ty Dillon, 13th birthday tomorrow. You'd see that you made me this way 
And just like the beginning of last year's version, of the well, even though last year, to be fair, was split into two halves. It was the first half I tried with the basketball beatdown. The second half was here. And so we had it run in early because it was we were getting ready for the what was then the world premieres of Villains of Valley View and Ultra Violet and Black Scorpion, which Villains of Valley View lived to see another day. Unfortunately, uh, Ultra Violet did not. So that's the difference. But the other difference is that well, if you want to go back and watch last year's version, link in the description. I think I'm gonna to remember to put that in there since I make this comparison of last year and this year a lot like all the nascar fans do with last year's this year's coke 600 which was the better version but so um the difference between last year and this year is last year was the first half at work with the basketball beat down a tried second half here but today's video will be all here all night long hey kaylee all right so um yeah so just like last year we're going to the, let me show you without getting the street sign Hold on, that's, this is gonna be hard. Oh, I don't have to show you shit, cause look, there's some busy people over there. So remember that opening scene at the Beals, remember? Well, just like last year, we're going down this street. We're going down the street, you know, I can't really tell you the street name because of privacy and safety reasons, but we're going down the, towards there first, except last year, we came down that way. This year, we're coming down the opposite direction. Just to keep, you know, at least keep one trend going from with a one version of something from the year before. You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, um, I know Mallory's son, Josh, if you remember that clip from a year ago. You know, this is what, this is how it all, this is where it all started. This is where the last year's video all started, and then the neighborhood portion in the second half started. But it looks like it's just Bob there, so, therefore... Really, none of, none of our, like, you know, close friends and best friends that, you know, that we know in that family aren't there. So, unfortunately, I'm going to gonna stop, you know, stop, yeah, end that thought right there. Because there's really no purpose for us to go over there, at least for this year's version. But I said it come down this way just in case there was any any excite, excitement, excite, excitement over there or, like, interesting people. As you know, Cam J. Beal's dad is about to mow the lawn. Yeah, that's gonna be his YouTube handle as soon as. Oh shit! As soon as I finally get a hold of this phone, finally get a hold of this phone, and you know, oh no, another car. As soon as I get a hold, I don't know who that is, but they waved at me. As soon as I get a hold of his phone, and you know, I able to change the YouTube handle for him. I already did it with this girlfriend grace tippins who obviously cam and grace were not at last year's version of this so but as for cam he's doing this word this this wood burning stuff along this tattoo stuff i've been trying to inspire and record and put it on youtube for content because whether i help him record and edit and upload these videos or not i'd still watch every single one so subscribe to cam jbl link is in the description so therefore I thought another car was coming, so let's go find our first true legitimate stop of the day. So it's a little kind of surprising of a first legitimate stop. I know it's not the Beals like last year's video, nor is it like, you know, the Crouch of Doom and Ninja Ninja Fighter oh, next, next, next door. What? I'm um, when we do when we premiere season three of Fun in the Sun this Sunday. Oh it's this Sunday. You don't want to know. You don't want to know what that is. I mean, we know, and it's not bad, but we're, for safety purposes, we can't say. Yeah. And so, therefore, we have a little something happening when I premiere season three of Fun in the Sun this Sunday on my channel. And so, I don't know if she's going to record for her channel for this event, but it's, where is it? What part of your property is it going to take place? Front porch. Oh, front porch, like the dance party did when I wore Austin Dillon. When I wore Austin Dillon instead of Tim Duncan because my dad had took me to a doctor appointment and I got back and I brought back so late and I barely I only had a little bit of time out here so what are we doing this Sunday when I premiere fun in the sun season three on my channel karaoke party yeah never I don't are you gonna record this for your channel I don't know because go for it the, the, the morning I might be um busy making a video and it'll probably still be uploading which means I can't record anything oh else oh you can fun. you you, you yeah, no my tablet doesn't allow it. I don't know why. Yeah, that's why your phone's there. But unless you still can't find that damn thing. My phone dead. I don't have a charger. Oh, uh, so for, you know, I've, you know, I've uploaded four videos in one day. That was actually actually just not too long ago. But except I had, a, I, had a, I had to split it into two halves because, you know, the thing is some of them took too long to upload. 
but I'm hoping this calms down by the time we get to tomorrow and Sunday's video so I can finally put those throwbacks out. So probably if, if, the, if the video uploading link take cooperate, it's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday will probably be three throwbacks in a row for the Black My Blast from the past series. For karaoke and good old Sandy Ridge. We'll be on my channel, My Fun in the Sun Season 3 premiere, but we don't know about her channel yet. Oh my god, be our guest is stuck in my head and it's so annoying. Well, it's fitting that what's going to happen, before what's going to happen this Sunday. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your neck and hold your neck survey, and we'll the wow. See this house over here in turn two, coming out of the back straightaway? This is where we're going to be hit. This is where we're going to be headed into in the opening scenes of tomorrow's video. Abby will be back from her, you know, you know, second half of the 2022-23 season in Ireland. While we're on this whole topic of tomorrow's video, reuniting with Abby, M Abigail, Marie, you, Larry, uh, let's campaign her to start a YouTube channel just for travel vlogs and you know, you know, travel vlogs will go with content in general. So and even some you know collaborations with me when we do our you know, annual you know horse game or unless. Whatever game we want to do, for God, basketball game we want to do, forgot about Acción Isidore this year. Because before you know it, since we never got a spring installment of Tim Duncan, Can I Recreate? That means now that it's June, considering yesterday was June 1st, today is Kyle Petty's birthday, June 2nd. And now that our summer begins in two days, it's officially the season of Garra Acción Isidor. Solo elementos de gas, a continuación, en Nickelodeon, Televisión, Ella para ti. It's also the officially the start of Tim Duncan Can I Recreate season, um, real life NBA Jam season, um, real life Need for Speed season, all these good summer series that you're going to be seeing. There was another one too. There was another one too. I can't fucking remember what it was, but if but if if memory serves me correctly, I think there was only four of them. Garra Action Isidor, Tim Duncan Can I Recreate, Real Life NBA Jam, and Real Life Need for Speed. I think that was it. I believe that was it. If I if I happen to f find out if there was one more I missed out on, I thought there was either four or five. I'll address it in either tomorrow's video for Charlotte Verico's birthday or Better yet, the season three premiere Fun in the Sun comes Sunday. Yeah, we're talking. This is one of my close up friends, Zoe Gadomsky. Her brother Brock just graduated for the class of 2023. And we've known each other since 2018, 19, I think. And then yeah. we didn't really start talking a lot and got close to, until this year, until it got warm out this year. Mm -hmm. I could tell in her body language, like her bond is like really cool with me and is really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. So she's always smiling. She's always, you know, you know, very, you know, what's the word? Another word for like, you know. I'm bubbly. You're bubbly, you're chill, you're laid back, you're relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. You got to, you, you picked the right one, Aiden. I'm proud of you. <laughs> We're on the phone with her boyfriend, Aiden, right now. Yeah. And her phone's about to die, but we got it just in the nick of time. Yeah, we did. Yes, we damn did. Mm -hmm. I would do a TikTok with her and maybe, you know, well, maybe this summer we will because yeah. we, she's got to go somewhere. Yeah. I where, to, where? I have to go to the grocery store for my mom real quick. Okay. Because if my mom gets home and I don't get her groceries, she'll be mad. Right. So let's get a quick photo and then we can get the hell out. Yeah. All right. Man, what a wholesome moment that was. I mean, Zoe and I go far back to tweet. It had to be either 2018 or 2019, something like that. I want to say the closest I can think of is 2019 because I believe it had to be then. I swear it had to be then because I think it was around the time the, the, the their predecessor. I mean, I honestly to God, and I only do not remember when Zoe and her brother and you know mother moved in. But I also, but even worse, I don't remember when their predecessors, who was part of OG Sandy Ridge back in 2015, 16, and majority of 17, I don't even remember when exactly when they left. And I'm kind of glad they did. Because, well, I'm not going to say as to why, because it's too personal. And in case, you know, someone that was close in the neighborhood that's still here from back in those days, that's still in touch with them and still is kind of close to them like it never left, stumbles across this video by accident. I don't want to, or like, you know, if they have a kid that was friends with her daughter, you know, I'm not going to say any names. Not even, even the ones that are still here, I'm not going to mention, because what if I end up speaking my, my mind and how I really felt about but I felt about what I'm speaking of. Somebody from this neighborhood that was close with them 
you know, has a, a, even if it's a small YouTube account that does, that's like meaningless, and they stumble across this video by accident, there they watch all the way up to this part, and I, you know, I, I go to this part, I don't want to say the wrong thing, and then they get upset with me, and then they don't want to, be, not only want to be my friend anymore, but they won't want me over their house or let alone do stuff with them ever, ever again, even if it's not at their, even if it's A, not at their house or B, at, not only at other people's houses, but with other people at other people's houses. You know what I'm saying? So it's all part of the check yourself before you wreck yourself life lesson or an ultra violent I'm like Scorpion. I'm not gonna lose friends just because, you know, of a bad experience for that, you know, it's someone who I who I share mutuals with. Cause and besides, that was how many years ago was that? Okay, let me think here. It was 2015, 16. So That was like, you know, well, it's 2023 right now. So I know math is bad. That's why I suck at it. I was good at it until they started putting the alphabet into it. So I know four years ago, it's 2019, 18, 17, 16. It was like, it was, it was like seven, eight years ago. It was like, why, you know, be stressed about it now and just, you know, be a, be a, be bitter and butthurt about something that happened in this, in this in this neighborhood seven, eight years ago, back when it was completely different with the people that were in it, all the stuff that it contained, all, you know, all the, the all the, all the elements that a lot of the houses went and the yards had, you know, Sandy Ridge now is not no longer what it used to be when I first got here, when we started starting new, we were turning a new chapter after we ended our time in Brook Park in the Sandhurst house. And we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, what led up barbecue man hey we're gonna talk a little bit about when we get to the docu series it's already next month i can't fucking believe it wow we're gonna talk a little bit not a lot a little bit about how the how it was how it was confirmed that we were gonna move here not ex well we're only gonna talk about one particular reason the second reason you know that's a little personal and there's people there's you know some of the people that we were friends with that you know that you know I would say, you know, we got off on the wrong foot in the in the middle of a friendship. So I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to say exactly. I mean, I have kind of talked about it a little bit in like past videos, but it was drama that I really don't want to talk about. I really don't. But, you know, considering, you know, we want to talk about even with the bad things that happened, even if whether we talk, whether we whether we talk about whether we talk about it, whether we talk about whether we talk about it or not, whether we talk about it or not. On camera, I want to make sure we're talking about all the good stuff that you know the positive memories and not the bad ones. So what I'm gonna what I was about to say is what we're gonna do when we get there is like maybe towards the end when we're wrapping it up, we're gonna to top it off by talking about you know how it was it was one confirmed that we were leaving the Sandhurst House in Brook Park to go come here and you know all the event all the events. Okay, the truck's going there. All the events that you know that happened during that time period that led to us you know eventually finally coming here february 7 2015 a week before my elliot sadler 21st birthday so just so you're aware we're going to talk about all the past stuff first and then when we're wrapping it up at the end as we're like driving home in the middle of the dark then we're going to talk about you know the closing the chapter in that house and how we ended up getting here and maybe the first two weeks shit first two weeks i thought there was a car coming but there wasn't the first two weeks of um the first two weeks of us being here the week we moved here then my birthday maybe the maybe the third week as a bonus and then we continued my tradition so the second to last time having my birthday party for the daytona 500 back when it was the week after president's day so that's my birthday so therefore you all won't want to miss it because hopefully we can go through Brook Park multiple, multiple, multiple more times after that so we can get, you know, extra footage when we go full on documentary in 2024. Okay, kind of cooled, cooled off a little bit because the, the sun is going through the clouds little by little. So it's not going to be as hot. Now it's not going to be as hot as it was earlier. I was, was whole day, actually not all day yesterday and the day before I had how it's been all fucking week since Memorial Day because even Giselle Torres' birthday was this fucking hot. Okay, so far nothing's happening right now in good old Sandy Ridge. We had some highlights of like minutes ago with, you know, Zoe and... um. 
Did something else happen too? I have to fucking look back and watch this shit over again. But I know Zoe was an exciting moment. But and um, I could be hallucinating. But yeah, Zoe was the exciting moment. But ever since then, there's really been nothing happening. I mean, I hope that we can. We ended, you know, spring is in the air season one last year on a high note. We did. We got a lot of good people in there. Yeah, we were getting good people in there for like right off the bat. We were getting in there from the start, you know, as I showed you. And like, I'm trying to find new elements of editing these videos so I can give, I can like, you know, spice up the editing editing elements every other video because I, I wanted to show you a small clip while of last year's video while I was as I was describing that particular opening part of the neighborhood portion of what was two halves last year by using the pip animation so that way i'm not giving you guys the same wages even in small meaningless editing elements over and over and over again so you guys are not growing a t I'm tired of seeing the same shit every video or seeing the same kind of video but yeah but with that being the last day of season two of spring is in the air um that's fucking itches okay my leg was itching again damn it so with that being the last day of season two as spring is in the air it's fun in the sun season starting sunday meaning the return of i still haven't looked back to check to see if there's four or five of these i know well whatever one wasn't there real life need for speed on bikes if it was five there was one that was not there last year it was need for real life need for speed on bikes. i mean there was four last year but if there was one if there was four this year and yet one of them wasn't there and it was three. So I don't have to look at this shit just for the hell of it. Cause why the fuck not? It was four. So I was right the first time and knew I wasn't going crazy. So um, yeah, there's four of them. There was three last year cause there was no real life need for speed last year. Even though we try to squeeze it in, barely squeeze it in at the very end. So we last year was Garra Action Isidor. Then we had Tim Donkey get it recreate and then real life NBA jam. This year we have those three and then we got real life need for speed. So four summer series. So I don't know why the hell I was thinking there were five. I don't know why, but um, yeah, but I was right the first time when I said there was four of them. But next year, well, there's only gonna be four of them maximum because next year, every other year we're gonna roll it here between need for speed and test, wait, test drive five and need for speed. This year will be need for speed's turn. Next year, we're, next year, we're going to do test drive five on the bikes. That one's going to be a little more complicated to get creative because we're really not going to do circuit races. See, now you have to put that on the maybe list because I don't know if we're going to figure out, you know, how we're going to do po successful point to points, you know, with the checkpoint timers. And, you know, I do like the idea and everything, but what? I mean, this would actually work on Lenore or Sandhurst if, yo, if, yo, if this, you know, neighborhood lineup was that, any of those neighborhoods, like where the, what we got now is what we, ha is what, 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 is if what we have now is what we would have had back in those days with the point to point, that would have worked. <sighs> I mean, you can also go to the, uh, oh my, see, I don't know if that would have even worked either, especially Lenore, because Sandhurst, you know, you had the whole, you know, side street and then the street towards the back, you know, going into Sheldon. Yeah, that would have been complicated, too. So if that doesn't work out, we can't figure out how to do that shit. There's no way we're doing it. And plus, as for the need for speed stuff, I mean, drag races will not. I already, I can officially confirm right now when we get to that point. But after su this Sunday, there will be no drag racing because I try to there is no way to safely implement the. Oh, your total feature from most wanted most was yeah most was it most want no under oh okay i'm i'm having a stroke here there's no way to safely implement the total feature from underground and most wanted there's no safe way to implement that because even if it's a non-living object someone could still get hurt and then the hospital bill goes up and then families and parents get pissed no we don't want that because we've been free of like any kind of like any kind of big time drama and major incidents since we got here so we're trying to keep that as a keep that clean record you know, so we do not want to break that record over something that we're trying to have fun with, you know, for our YouTube purposes. So no drag racing. All we're going to do is lap knockout, hot pursuit, and, you know, and circuit races. That's all we're going to do. 
Circuit races would be just like NASCAR, going going in an oval. And right now, if we were doing the circuit race right now, or even using the oval for the lap knockout, this would be turn three right now. And right here would be the turn three infield. Right here, yeah. So, um, let's say, um, yeah, so right here would be turns three, going through turns three and four. Right here would be turns three and four. And coming on our street would be the front straight away. We, we, over back there would, oh, back, all the way back there would have been the back straight away. All the way there would have been the back straight away. And you know, going through crut, the, where Fireball Man, Crouch Your Doom and Ninja Fighter are at. And you know, you know, where Jerry Springer Man and you know, the you know, the Rezabex and the U Larry's, that would be turned to. Because Crouch Your Doom and Ninja Fighter and majority of Fireball Man is in turn one. Because Jerry Springer, Man, Larry, and the Reza Beck are in, in, in and even backseat. They're in turn two. So, therefore, it's pretty easy. That's why I describe, I mean, those parts of this, this that's why I describe those parts of this development of the layout as as they are. Because right here is turn four. So, it's just a matter. I know it's not a real racetrack. I get it's not a real circuit. I get it's not an actual oval track. I get it. It's just me using my imagination where it could be like NASCAR, but on bikes. But except we're not doing just, you know, NASCAR, NASCAR. We're doing a little bit of NASCAR, but this is more need for speed more than anything. Where we're just combining bits and pieces of NASCAR with it, with the, the, with the flags and all that, all that good shit, you know. When we do sign up, so as we get through the early parts of Fun in the Sun Season 3, then I will be explaining why all the rules and, you know, the format of everything and, you know, how, you know, how the flags are going to be used and shit. You're probably wondering why I have that delayed reaction in the long face. Well, not a little bit of a long face because the show must go on as Zachary Williams taught us on I Am Frankie, even though this is going to be for a totally unrelated show and this is in regards to tomorrow. We're still going to do Shia LaVerico's birthday tribute, don't get me wrong, as a bonus episode of To Knock Out Spring is in the Air Season 2. Unfortunately, it won't be as exciting as I, I initially planned it. I mean, it was a... Well, that was... That was well. The, this well we're going back to the we're going back to the we're going back to the initial plan of how I'll explain it to you so so my the alternate plan to the initial one which I'll explain in a little bit which we're going back to apparently the alternate plan we were gonna do was the first half and um the first half was gonna be here in Sandy Ridge for the first half of Shiloh's birthday and then the second half we were gonna go to the Broadview Brewing to see Georgia for the first time since 2017 i was going to see her play we were going to see her play again and we were going to do like knock out the celebration there and hopefully have everybody saying happy birthday to shiloh at the very end and then we close it out just like that unfortunately that will not be happening that will not be happening we're going to be going back to the initial we're going to be going back to our initial plans of you know doing the whole celebration here because apparently i just got off the phone with my dad and while he was on his way home from work, he would, he, well, I wouldn't say crash, crash, you know, thankfully it wasn't. Thankfully I did not get a Vietnam flashback of that false awakening I had where he legitimately wrecked, didn't make it out alive, but yeah, that shit I'm never going to talk about in a full detail on YouTube or any part of the interwebs. Well, he was on his way home from work and man, this could have been a whole lot worse. A piece of metal came, was flying through the air and he just hit him out, he just hit his car and uh, luckily he's okay. He's okay. When he said he had an accident, I thought he actually crashed. But no, a piece of debris. It wasn't debris being metal, you know, came flying up. And that could have hit anything, anything. Could have hit any car. It probably could have hit a human walking on the side. But out of all people, it had to be him. It had to be him. And luckily, he's okay. I mean, the rest of the car is undamaged. But the whole windshield is shattered. So, and with it being Friday, he can't get that shit fixed till Monday. So, not that he wanted to not do this with me because he has a history of, you know, making plans with me or me, me making plans with him. And then at the last second, he decides to cancel because he wants to do other stuff with his new life. Considering, you know, get with him and my mom no longer being together and shit, you know. But 
that was not the case here. We were getting, we were, we were excited. Him and I were excited to see it for the first time since 2017. In fact, the last time we saw Georgia was right before my her, he and my mom, you know, officially split up. You know, before that all that stuff happened. Biz with Jaren 2017. But yeah, we were excited. We were actually very, very excited to be to actually. Go see it for the first time in 2017. I was excited to throw her and her family into my YouTube video, getting them involved in Shiloh Verico's birthday celebration and all that. You know, even he was looking forward to taking me, but I'm glad I called him when I did because he. the reason why he didn't pick up when I left him that voice message, I didn't, of course, I didn't know what happened at the time. He was actually getting, he was on the phone with his insurance when that freak accident happened. And then he was actually getting ready to call me after he got off the, I think he was getting off the phone when the freak accident happened. So he was going to call me, but then he, when he saw, hey, I left a voice, me he saw my voice message, he was going to call me, I was going to know regardless whether he called me or I called him. So he was going to call me to tell me what had happened. And I mean, if this would have happened, like say on a Monday or Tuesday or something, that'd be one thing. It would be yeah, plenty of time to get that fixed. Another to have it happen now, right before, um, What's it called? Right before we have, we had like a, some big plans that like that following night, that on a week, it's a Saturday. So unfortunately, we will not be going to Georgia's show just because of that. My dad would have really wanted to go. Only reason why he's canceling because you know it's not safe to drive around with the shattered windshield, and you know he said he was afraid to touch it and shit because what if he does even by accident and it it just blows up into the car? I mean, I don't wouldn't want to do that either because I hate broken glass. <laughs> One of many things I hate in life is broken glass. I could cut your finger or your whole hand. So next time she's in this area, even if it's not for a celebrity birthday tribute, I'm pretty sure we'll we'll go we'll, we'll try to go this time. But if I, if it was going to happen any time, right before any big big event, I had a plan to go put on YouTube. I'm glad it was this and not the whole Brook Park stuff because it happening before you know seeing Georgia play for the first time in 2017. If you put that in the Brook Park stuff side by side on when this could have happened, right this here right here is the lesser of the two evils. Because then I've been promising you this docu-series for months and months since February, since I got the idea in December through February. But at the same time, you know, what if that happened? What if that actually something what if something would have happened then too? And before right before the event takes place and then we I he can't take me because of that. That would, unless, you know, my mom has a backup, you know, as I have my mom has a backup plan. She's the point where I don't want to not, <laughs> thing is, you, you, here's the plan I'm trying to make. I can't, peep, I mean, me or anyone can't just promise you something going to happen, but then all of a sudden something awry comes up, something awry happens, and then all of a sudden you have to, you have to cancel plans. You can't make it happen and you leave everybody disappointed. See, that's not what, that's what I don't want to do for you guys with the Brook Park stuff. I want to make sure that nothing, nothing miraculously crazy happens that week after the Fourth of July celebration is over, and then I we I can't I can't go because of it unless you know my mom. My you can use my mom as a as Plan B, and then if, if my mom can't go because if if, if something miraculously happened that with that week at Brook Park at home days for the docu series, then I can't go at all, and then I disappoint you guys. You see. I just wanted to let you guys know now in tonight's video, instead of just you no know, not saying anything about it, not, about this whole this whole spring is in the air season two finale, and then leave you guys expecting something, and then I have to wait till Shiloh Verico's actual birthday video to tell you last minute. See, at least I told you guys in advance. So, yeah. So that was the alternate plan, the initial plan that we had abandoned because of the Georgia thing. Was the initial plan was. This was just going to be a regular birthday tribute in the neighborhood for Shiloh Verico, just a typical and usual. So that's exactly what we're going back to. I just want to let you, you know, let you guys know what was going on before you're wondering in tomorrow's video, Mark, why the fuck is this video a lot different than you initially thought? Well, that to be fair, that was not even the initial plan, if we're being honest and being fair. I was just going to do the typical neighborhood stuff until Georgia's event popped up and she invited me. Of course, I wanted to be there, but now we can't because my only ride, well, my only ride has a busted windshield and my mom has to work all day and night. And I, we could have used my stepmom's car, but she works more than my dad does. Because she works on weekends, my dad don't. So we're fucked and we don't have, a, I don't have a ride and neither does my dad. So I'll make sure to YouTube that as a regular, you know, Georgia Koshjak YouTube, you know, YouTube adventure because 
man, that was, that's devastating. But as they all say, the show must, as Zachary Williams taught us on I Am Frankie back in 2018, the show must go on and that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a lot different than what I had mainly planned with the alternate plan more than the main plan. But trust me, it's still going to be a hell of a bonus fin finale episode of season two of Spring is in the Air. So with that change of plan, we don't have to go to bed so, so early. I mean, we still can't go to, I mean, we, we can go to, well, we still don't have to, we still can't go to bed too late either. I mean, I was going to, I don't know what my originally planned bedtime was going to be. Had that freak accident with my dad's windshield never happened. Had that never happened. But it was going to be an early time for sure. Really, really early than on the weekend. Maybe one o'clock. 2 or 30 ish 2 2 30 3 o'clock ish i don't know because usually when i have a, a commitment on the weekend which is not all the time I, my bedtime my bed my my bedtime at weekends is usually 3 30 because you can go to bed at 3 30 on a weekend you still wake up at a reasonable time the next day the next day because you know the old saying it pays to get up early and that's why I went the weekend of the Kansas race. I'm glad I did that. Both Saturday and Sunday when I saw Benjamin Essenmacher and got to go to Rebecca Akuri's grad party at Fireball Man's when she graduated um, Bowling Green. So, see, all this stuff we would be missing if we were just, A, steer back to our, you were doing the old ways on from Lenore when we were kids. Or B, you know, doing our modern day adult mark lazy days, lazy Saturdays and Sundays, you know, just wanting to have downtime the whole time. And, you know, Saturday, you know, use it to use the advantage of not going to work the next day either to catch up on all your shows. Like, yeah, it's, sometimes it's nice to watch your favorite shows. But even then, at the same time, you still want to do that. You really don't want to miss this either. So... I promise you we're gonna be we're gonna still make a really good birthday tribute for Shiloh Verico tomorrow. Don't you worry. So this is just the official finale of Spring is in the air. Bill tomorrow more uh, the, the bonus episode of Crap It All Up will more count as a birthday tribute more than a spring is in the air up for for Shiloh more than a spring is in the air episode. It'll be a spring is in the air episode, but it sure as hell won't feel like it. Because what we've got coming, um, Oh yeah, and you know, since we don't have to, we, we we're not even gonna go any. We're not going. We're not going anywhere tomorrow. Since we're not going anywhere, we're to all tomorrow. Maybe, or it's a possible if he, if my grandfather needs us to knock out the rest of that storage uh, past off in the storage unit. But we can also see meet Zoe's boyfriend Aiden on on, the, on Saturday if we can't do. I mean. Both Saturday and Sunday, we can actually get to see it, meet them two days in a row, and we get to get a little taste of Zoe three three days in a row today, tomorrow, and Sunday. So you just never know who you're gonna see out there, which is why we're still gonna go to bed in a timely manner tonight, despite the fact we don't have to go anywhere tomorrow because of what happened to my dad's windshield. And even tomorrow night, we have to go to bed at a reasonable time too. So. Both tonight and tomorrow night, we got to get our ass to bed at our, and not too early, but not too late either. Translation, go to bed in a timely manner where you don't have to go to bed so or too early, but you also don't have to go too late either. Do it again. Do it again. Let's try it again. Let me try that again. So tonight and nights, weekends, like this weekend, tonight, especially tonight and tomorrow, you know, you know, here's where you don't have to go to bed too early, but you also can't, you also can't go to bed too late either. I can't fucking talk for shit and send most of these videos for the life of me. You know, we could take this freak accident from um, my dad's windshield as something that there's a lot of positives that were that we're gonna it's gonna come out of tomorrow. That um wasn't gonna happen had we you know that freak accident never happened. So that freak accident was a blessing uh, with my dad's windshield was a blessing in disguise. And let me tell you, let me tell you why. Because this life lesson most more than likely is going to pay off tomorrow during Sarah Verico's birthday celebration in Sandy Ridge, even though this is from a different show. That we're, we're, this is a video about a Disney Channel show, and they're using a life lesson from an ABC show. Sometimes the worst things in life lead to the best things. And this is one of the worst things that could happen to anybody, not just my dad, where a freak accident, where the car doesn't, it's not even the car, it's just a, par, a part of the car gets fucked up because, you know, some piece of debris or something. I'm just glad it was the wind, and also I'm glad it was the windshield and not a tire, because a, a tire here for a tire would have been stuck out there. But okay, so um, sometimes you know, 
this freak accident from my dad is going to lead us to a lot of wonderful things. And let me explain to you all, all of them, hopefully. We're going to get this... We're gonna get to meet Zoe's boyfriend, Aiden, the one the girl who you saw in, early, in the clip early and in, in the earlier in the video. We're gonna get to meet him sooner than we thought. We get to be all we have all the time in the world tomorrow to like you know go reunite with Abby in turn two, which we thought we we were not we were only we were we were not we were which we thought we weren't gonna get in a timely manner, but guess what we are. We're not gonna go over there so early though. We're not gonna go over there so early. We're gonna go over there with time's right. So, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be all, it's gonna be, it's gonna come out okay after all. So we get the, uh, and depending on who may or may not be here tomorrow, in terms of Sandy Ridge outsiders, we might get to reunite with some best friends and loved ones that may or may not come into this neighborhood tomorrow because Something we learned last year at the Brindley Kerr's grad party when we couldn't find a ride. Sometimes it's our. What about you know when um, remember the remember when we went to Great Northern? We were supposed to go to South Park that one day in December with Viacoaster went during early part of season one of winter season two of Winter Wonderland, and because of this Brittany Bennett bullshit, we ran out of time. So the only chance we had was to go to probably the worst mall that ever exists in Ohio, let alone all of mankind. Um, um, Midway, considering that mall has sucked ass for years now. But the only good store, well, there's two good stores, but one in my book, because the other, well, the good one, I had a friend in there when I was at Triad, but ever since then, she left and got a new job. Um, finish line, I think, I had my friend Ivy Dorena in there. But ever since I, I've only first met her for the first and only time when I was at Triad in 2021, it's two years later. So she actually, she's, of course, she had to be gone by the time we got back there. So yeah, she's gone. But so far, the only good store they have there left for me when it comes to me having friends in there is Bath and Body Works. Because, you know, our friend Serena Wixen is in there. We met her for the first time and we got to chat it up with her when she was working and the staff never yelled at me for it. I'm glad to come glad I need to say, I'm glad, you know, douchebag wasn't um, in the in the store with us for most of the time because he wouldn't have minded his own business. I'm not gonna say who it is, but I'm pretty sure some of y'all know who I'm talking about based on one of my rant videos from from the later stages of season two of Winter Wonderland. But, um, you know, of course that day taught us is never too late to turn the day around because that day started off on a sour note, it ended on a high note. But um, that same day, because we were look, I was looking forward to having everybody meet Abby Drozdowski, my friend from the Toy Star South Park, and eventually we get, we did get to do that. We did get to do that. It just needed, you just needed some time. But you know, that day in particular with the Brittany Bennett shit, kind of taught us, uh, taught us what you know what we learned at Brindley the day of Brindley, Brindley Girls Grand Party. We didn't have a ride, and we still got to see some people we loved here instead. Sometimes it's worth, it's worse, it's it's worth, not worse, it's worth missing certain people for other certain people so that day we missed abby but we also got to meet serena kind of like how we missing brindley carter grad party where we got to see amber aleph and aubrey fraser the same thing's gonna apply tomorrow we're going to miss seeing georgia and her family that we haven't seen since 2017 but we're gonna get to see other people in this change really like it's gonna be worth missing georgia tomorrow to see to see, you know, other, to see other people in the neighborhood tomorrow because as the all the same goes, you, I guess again, you just never know who you're gonna see out there. Just then. Well, this is some unexpected company. I ended up getting a text from this little guy, Austin Hasco, one of my best of friends since July 26, 2020. And then when I came into turn one, um I um and I saw the hair come like, oh shit, I gotta go get him. And Marco, don't steal our thunder. Um I had to go get him. That's the fastest I've ever ran to actually come in to see someone. Man, it's good. First time since this. Yeah, my endurance sucks. And this is the, the this is the first time. Um, I'll let that slide since this is a wholesome moment. I think this is the first time since it was in January I last saw you at, when my old school got us at the buzzer. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to do a TikTok since we haven't done one since last year? Duncan's old. 
<laughs> yeah, he's 47 years old. He was 40 in his last season. Let's get this TikTok done, and I know exactly what we're going to do. Holy goddamn shit. There's only two. There's only three of these left. None of this shit is cheap. But at least they got the 24 ounces right here. Three, well, two off camera, but three hooligans screwing around in the gas station in the season two finale of Spring is in the Air. What could possibly go wrong? All right. What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Spring is in the Air season two finale? Okay. This video is just as crazy. And we back. I mean, that was, see, this is what was supposed, that was what was supposed, some stuff like that was what was supposed to happen tomorrow with, you know, our plans to see Georgia for tomorrow, uh, Barnsley, Georgia canceled because of, you know, the freak accident involving my dad and his windshield. At least it was the windshield, not a tire. And two, at least it was just something, even if it was a freak accident, at least it was minor. At least it was like a collision a collision with another car at least it wasn't that at least it wasn't that i mean that stuff is repairable i think marianne's coming down the street yep and Vinny too and maybe this weekend if we see them we'll do a tiktok with marianne so but yeah at least it wasn't a car a collision with another car at least it wasn't an actual fender bender and two at least it was just um oh shit get out of here push notification at least it was it was a wind, something like a windshield and not a tire. Because you, at least with the windshield, you could still keep trucking like nothing happened. But yeah. See, it's very, stuff like that is, serious stuff like that is very statistical until it happens to you or if it, if it, if it happens to someone, someone important in, you, in your life, whether it be a family member, a best friend, a friend, or a general lover, or just simply a friend or a, a acquaintance or just a general peer. So, therefore. We gotta see when she's scheduling next. We gotta see when she's what, when, what time, when she's gonna get when you know when George is gonna play next time. So, and when that does, we're gonna do a YouTube video. Then, unfortunately, it just won't be the same like we were supposed to do tomorrow. So the time is running out. Um, and spring is in the air. Season two is almost just a little ways away from being over. So, what time is it exactly? Smooth Jazz, V98. V98.7. It's 638 and we're down to a 50%, 50% um, battery percentage. So if there's any, any other exciting shit we want to do to knock out season two of Spring is in the Air before we close the chapter as we park the bus, we better fucking do it now. Oh yeah, and I know, you know how I said there was a lot of positives that were gonna come out of tomorrow with this negative, th you know, sometimes the worst things in life lead to the best things. Well, this worst thing that Abby and my dad is gonna lead to some of the best things for us tomorrow. Abby, we're back with, you know, together again, like Dave Blaney, the best friend duo of, of you know, I don't know what, I don't know what. Uh. I have to w w look back at this shit. What the fuck else did I say that we were actually going to be able to do? Oh, yeah, meet Zoe's boyfriend sooner than we thought. Is that F-bomb and babe? That can't... It is F-bomb and babe. Oh, shit. The F-bomb and babe, Amber Thompson, about to marry this lucky motherfucker named Steele. Now, this is my third attempt telling this story. So, since, you know, we're going to miss out on Georgia tomorrow, and, you know, with the worst thing, the worst things in life lead to the best things. Sir, that was one of the worst things that could ever happen to my dad or someone I love or anybody in my life, family, a friend. We get to reunite with Abby. We get to do that. We get to meet Zoe's boyfriend way sooner than we thought. What was that third thing? This is my last shot for today. One last shot at glory. But for, for spring is in the air season two. But if not, we'll just try tomorrow for the bonus episode of Shia LaBarico's birthday and season three of Fun in the Sun on Sunday. Here comes Operation Find and Reunite with Maya Halliburton. Spring is last. One final shot of spring is in the air season two glory. Kind of 
I wouldn't say backfired because nobody nobody showed nobody showed up and not not as a result nothing happened. But I don't think this is over yet. I don't. I know my phone battery is getting lower and lower, but we'll just see if there's one more shot. Let's see if we can get one more miracle. If not, we'll just go back. We'll just kill ourselves and we'll go back. Okay, I think I might remember the third thing. And even if it's not what I initially planning, I don't give a fuck. I know there was three things, the positive, you know, best things that are cut. Sometimes the worst things in life lead to the best. This thing that happened to my dad is going to lead to some positive things tomorrow. Reuniting with Abby in turn two. Meeting Zoe's boyfriend way sooner than we thought. And hopefully, hopefully another reunion. Maya Halliburton. So the last two years we go from, you know, college farewell season to, you know, reu break best friends reunited season. Okay, I wanted to get back to my point. This is my fourth attempt at trying to finish this story. So the worst things in life lead to the best things. So what happened to my dad today is going to lead to three positive things tomorrow. We got reunited with Abby in turn two. Um, we got, um, get to meet Zoe's boyfriend a lot sooner than we, than we thought. And of course, we have a better chance of reuniting with Maya Halliburton. Possibly tomorrow. Maybe, well, 50-50 chance. So if it doesn't happen tomorrow, it most likely will happen Sunday when we premiere season three of Fun in the Sun. Just remember that fourth thing. Okay, I knew I wasn't going crazy. I knew there was something. I knew the Maya Halliburton shit wasn't it, but that was a that was an honorable mention. But the three most important, the, the worst, the thing that happened to my dad tonight will lead to this... Oh, baby Jax is around. Will lead to this ultimate best thing. One, reunited with Ab this kid. We're gonna try it. We're gonna get it right for real this time. One, we're gonna reunite with Abby Larry. Two, meet Zoe Gadamski's boyfriend sooner than we thought. Um, three, we actually get to do a calm before the storm TikTok tomorrow, where originally we weren't going to. But honorable mention, 50-50 chance we reunite with Maya Halliburton and Sandy Ridge. So if it doesn't have that, the honorable mention doesn't happen tomorrow. It's a good chance it happens on. Okay, never mind. It's a good chance it it's a dog. It's a dog bark. It's a good chance it happened on Sunday instead. A good chance to see Jenna right there, but unfortunately, it's the it's the it's the new. You know, it's the it's the modern day version of just because the car is there doesn't mean people are. Just because cars are there and there's you know you know garages open and doors unlocked and people actually that are there doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna answer the door or come and talk to you or hang out with you. So that was the modern. That was exactly the case there 10 minutes later well the, what a way to close out this season two finale of spring is in the air I haven't seen him since 2021 when he didn't have those nasty ass whiskers because don't don't feel bad don't feel bad because i don't like those either hey, fair enough. and no he he hates them even more too hey, jeremy the the the, the 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 what the fuck am i trying to have some something something trio is back oh yeah what 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 term did you want to fit inside there um I can't say dynamic duo because it's two. We need three. Dynamic trio. Dynamic trio. I guess that works because there's no matching T word that I there's a counterpart to terrific. dynamic. Terrific, the terrific trio. trio. The terrific trio of 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 the week. Corbetto couldn't have asked for it any better on a Friday where we're wrapping up season two of Spring is in the Air. Yeah. So. What do you want a photo? You guys want a photo? Yeah, let's get a photo. Hell yeah. Maybe next time they're up season three of Fun in the Sun after that kicks off Sunday, we can do a TikTok together. That'd be good. I would do it now, but I know you guys look like you guys are rushing. <laughs> And just like that, season two of Spring is in the Air is officially in the books. And no better way to end it with Austin Hashka, J Jacob Kraus, I almost said his dad's name for whatever reason, um, Jeremy Barley, Brendan Shibley, and Zoe Gadomsky. Those are, wait, let me see. Jeremy, Brendan, Zoe, Austin. Damn, we ended it with five key people. Couldn't have asked for it any better. Like, holy shit. With special guest stars, Marco Farrago and Cole Allison. So, therefore, we had one hell of a spring season. You know, considering, you know, we had the Sandy Ridge premiere, a.k.a. spring premiere. As, you know, 
middle of April or something. I don't fucking remember. And then the next day we had like a randomness video and it got off to a slow start because as soon as we got to the first two Spring is in the Air episodes, then we caught a spring call come Easter weekend, you know, during the Easter Bunny 500 dirt race. And my mom was out of town all week and we were stuck in her bedroom all week sick. I mean, we started off in my bedroom before she left. And then when we got, then when she left for out of town, we went in there and I swear that, that part of of the season really killed us because especially after the Easter Bunny 500 dirt race when we were starting to feel a little bit better, we were still sick enough to the point we couldn't go out and enjoy mid to upper 70 degree weather considering we had not first hit the first 80 degree day of the year yet. So therefore, I think by Thursday, that Thursday or Friday, I think that's when I finally started to feel close to cuffed healthy where I can just run back outside again and not waste any time, you know, getting, you know, resuming the season and then we had that one friday it was the it was april 14th when you know the staff you know it's the staff and some of the consumers and my job went crazy to their kind of music and the closest i could get was the kyle petty song on it because i you know i asked leaf to play it and the only reason why he said yes and actually did it was he was already playing the same genre as that song you know lean with a rock with them franchise boys you all know the story with my dad thinking it said kyle petty instead of rock with and how i couldn't unhear it and shit after a while but yeah, and then we had the first 80 degree day of the year, which we decided to do a warm weather banger. And as you can imagine, the rest was his, the rest is history. We had the stuff with Austin, Jacob, Jeremy, um, Brendan, and Zoe today to wrap it all up. Um, we have the last of Shia Laverica's birthday club. What's going to happen tomorrow? Well, you're just going to have to find out. Um, oh my God, we had so much fun this spring. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, after the whole week of Easter, we were sick, and then we got better. We just comp and then we starting at the first eighty degree day of the year, we just turned it around miraculously, like no, it was nothing, and we ended up getting more TikToks out of it than you know than we were limited to because of our time being sick that we could have used those times to be healthy for. But man, but anyway, could that. Season three of Fun in the Sun begins Sunday, and the summer that's going to be our 2023 summer premiere. So tomorrow will be Shia Verico's birthday tribute as a bonus episode for Spring is in the Air. And considering since I'm going to be way too busy with this video, tomorrow's video, and Sunday's video, don't worry. There's going to be a throwback of my dad from that same day in 2016 posted on Monday. And then Tuesday and Wednesday will be two more throwbacks. I mean... And then maybe Thursday I'll come up with something because now the Huawei officially hit the point where we're going to be uploading each and every day. We hit Tim Duncan, can I recreate Effective Sunday? We hit Tim Duncan, can I recreate season? Garra Acción Isidor season. Real Life NBA Jam season and the inaugural and Real Life Need for Speed on bike season. So, and then we got, um, the 4th of July party with the Fireball Man, Jerry Springer Man, and the Rezabex on July 2nd. And then we have an a free space we're going to try to fill july 3rd and then we're going to have some 4th of july shenanigans we might july 2nd and july 4th we'll do another nate we'll do more nate oh, oh yeah don't forget this summer also wait i did it i mean i wasn't going crazy the first time but now i just remember there's five summer series we do sometimes we throw it in, in the spring if we're lucky neighborhood fun tear it up like terry labonte just random neighborhood shenanigans with my friends and uh and neighbors best friends and loved ones and i and yeah, I forgot. I totally forgot about that. I mean, I was, I was, I kind of was going crazy, but now I realized that I kind of look less crazier than I did because I do remember this five because I just became a real uh, more of a summer series than a spring series. And then, you know, we'll do neighborhood, we'll do episodes of that. We might do an episode, we might do a video on July 1st. Maybe, maybe not. But then July 9th and it starts getting really good. After the 4th of July shenanigans over and my sister goes back home to Virginia with her new life. Um, we got the Brook Park docuseries coming. My Brook Park friends are going to be part of my fame. My TikTok, already in progress TikTok fame. I mean, they're going to get to see what my my modern life is up to now since I did leave them. The ones that are still there, they're now all grown up. So, therefore, time to jump in the shower. Time to take this off. Jump in the shower. Put the dishes away from my grandmother. You know, what did my mom say? She, well, oh, yeah. No, that was my, my mom, my grandmother. So we're going to eat some pesto noodles, drink some ice cold Coke. Shout out to Jacob for uh, getting me that Coke, you know, going that. He didn't say anything about me paying him back. So at least I don't have to do that. I don't have to, like, you know, 
go through that hassle. I wish you would have gotten me too, but it's better than nothing. So to go eat some pesto and drink some a lot of ice cold coke because we're going to need it because it's a bit hotter than a Tito Puente drum solo just to wrap up season two of Spring is in the Air. And, you know, I'll edit and upload this thing. Get oh yeah! Don't forget we have to get we got the we have all the time in the world now that we get, we don't have to go to Georgia's show so we can get some good Shiloh Verigo clips from Bunked uh, off Disney now. So have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Life will give you a lot of lows, but when you hit a high, enjoy it. At eight for the week, goddamn, pace yourself, bring your ass, be you. You have to try harder to do less. You can't deport a dream. Sometimes the worst things in life lead to the best thing, which is something we're learning today and we're gonna. We are lights tomorrow. Always bet on the side of love. You got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Sometimes you just got to be present. You never fail until you stop trying. It never pays to worry too much about things. It's never too late to turn the day around. Another day on time. Another day to shine. Sometimes you just got to flock yourself. Trust your instincts. Stand up for yourself. Not back down to anyone. All for one. One for all. You got to bounce. Just when you think things will ever be okay again, here comes a miracle that proves you way wrong. A connection can happen when you least expect it. Honesty is the best policy. Sometimes you just gotta dive in, follow your dreams, show up for the rest of your life. When you're all cheering together, every day is a win. There is no tomorrow. Everyone is strong in different ways. You Sometimes you don't get to choose who you love. Take care, everyone. Good night. And to season two, a spring is in the air. It was, it was a hell of a ride. And I look forward to doing it again next year for season three. So when that happens, everybody, join us again in March, possibly April, when we run it back with season three come 2024. Until then, have a great rest of your day going into the weekend. I will see you all tomorrow for Shiloh Verico's birthday tribute as a bonus episode of Spring is in the Air, a Spring is in the Air 2022 compilation, and the season three premiere of Fun in the Sun this Sunday. So see you later, everyone. Peace out, Spring. Ale, ale, ale.